This guy's been gone for weeks. We need a new top five. There's something creepy going on with this door. I'm not crazy. Go home. I oughta know! Guys, it's, it's me, the real me. I'm back. Don't listen to him. I'm the real Walter. No, he's a duplicate, like the last one. Look, I don't have time to explain, but you've got to believe me. Stop lying to them. If we kill him, he'll disappear like all the others. Guys, he's a fake. I'm telling you. Hold on. I know how to tell who the real Walter is. What is the worst Zordon era Power Ranger series? Turbo! Damn it. There's only one way to settle this. It's a top five off. Power Rangers Turbo is not remembered too fondly by most fans. It represented a low point for the Zordon era, just like that costume was a low point for you. This season started with a theatrical release called Turbo, a Power Rangers movie. It introduced new powers, a new villain, and a new ranger. Tell him. Tell him who it was. <sighs> he was a little kid. That's right. The new blue ranger and replacement for Rocky was a little almost orphan named Justin. Also, Zordon and Alpha 5 leave early in the series, so it was a big change of status quo. The problem was, this season didn't do much of anything different or exciting except focus on cars. Well, at least the Rangers finally graduated from high school. True that. These are the top five worst Power Rangers Turbo episodes. Will you stop copying me? Number five, the Robot Ranger. This episode is about a group of imposters. Sound familiar? In this Twilight Zone twisted episode of Power Rangers Turbo, Justin starts to notice something strange about his fellow Rangers. Ashley and TJ seem to have circuits in their wrists, and Carlos's face even pops off. This leads to the young Blue Ranger to come to the conclusion that his team has been replaced by robots. However, all that is put on hold when Divatox sicks her newest monster, Flashhead, on Angel Grove. I actually like Flashhead, he's a fun villain. Who asked you, you dumb duplicate? Spoilers in case you care about the twist in a 21-year-old episode of Power Rangers. Justin ends up being a robot as well. These robotic rangers were made by Zordon and Alpha 5 on Eltar to... help the real rangers, I guess? Honestly, I'm not sure why they were created at all since they go back to Eltar at the end of the episode. And what could be more annoying than one Justin? Two Justins talking to each other about playing soccer. Add on both TJ's weird delivery and you have one of the worst episodes and one of the worst seasons. Hit a little close to home, you desperate doppelganger. That's it. Now it's my turn. Number four, the whole lie. The concept of this episode is that the Rangers are all shot with a deception blaster and can't stop lying. Hey, do we have one of those? Jim, do we have a deception blaster? Stay out of the scene shot. Divatox sends the monster mouthpiece to Earth, where he first shoots Justin, then the other rangers with his deception blaster. They aren't able to tell the truth, and every time they lie, another Piranatron shows up. The numbers eventually overcome the rangers, until Justin can find a way to once again tell the truth. This is just lame. Back in the Money Morphin days, this would have at the very least been a fun episode. But by the time Turbo came around, even the dumb, fun concepts became incredibly boring. It's dull, it's slow, and it was hard to keep my eyes open watching this in the 90s and today. 
This was one of those episodes that cemented the fact that the intangible magic of Power Rangers was gone, and it wouldn't be back until the following season. Terrible analysis. You're pathetic. Number 3. The Song of Confusion Confusion! 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 Annoyed yet? Cassie and her friend Vicky decide to start a band and hold auditions. For some reason, a whole other band called Crash and the Creeps try out and play the Song of Confusion. Cassie joins them and their overly catchy song starts to affect the citizens of Angel Grove. Later, it's discovered that Crash and the Creeps are actually a band of monsters who work for Divatox. With Cassie leading the charge, the Turbo Rangers must put a stop to these maniacal musicians. Confusion! 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 Okay, I'm annoyed now. Good. Confusion! Confusion! Confu I understand part of the point of this episode was to be annoying, but they did it a little too well. By the end, it seemed like everyone had sang that damn song, and there's not much more to it. What's the opposite of a one-hit wonder? Because that's what this episode was. Annoying! 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 Number 2. Bicycle Built for the Blues This is another Justin-centric episode. Starting to see a pattern? It's Justin's birthday, and while the Rangers are planning a surprise party for him, he is gifted a bicycle he thinks is from his father, but is actually from Divatox and her new monster, Big Burpa. Yes, Big Burpa. Want to guess what her gimmick is? She burps. A lot. Justin is stuck on the bike and can't stop pedaling. The other Rangers' sense of urgency increases when they find out a bomb is set to detonate the bike in mere minutes. I get the feeling they wanted to have a fart monster, but had to keep it a little more tame for the kids. This is a very early episode of the season, and boy does it set the pace. You'd think this would be a little exciting since we have a bomb set to go off and kill one of the main characters, but it's so boring. They must have had to try and make it this boring, because there's no way a show about super-powered teenage crime fighters should be this bland. If you want to put your kids to sleep, have them watch this episode. If Big Burpa's belching doesn't keep them awake, I'm sure they'll drift off to have much more interesting dreams. Burping's hilarious. Ugh. See? And the number one worst episode of Power Rangers Turbo is... The Spirit of the Woods. Erutan, does that name mean anything to you? While on his morning jog, TJ runs into a young boy in the woods named Erutan. TJ soon realizes Erutan isn't a normal boy. He's the spirit of the woods. Or something. When Divatox finds out, she sends her monster Lord Litter to capture Erutan and use his powers for evil. You ready for this? Here we go. Can you figure it out? Congrats! Here's a power cookie. It took TJ a lot longer to figure this out in the episode. This is basically the Power Rangers equivalent of Michael Jackson's Earth song. Hey, I like that song. You would. Maybe the kid's actually Jesus. He randomly stands on water at 1.2. In any case, this episode is the worst of the worst. This season sucks. Turbo is a disgrace. You can check out my personal channel for a review of Turbo, a Power Rangers movie that just went up today. You mean my personal channel. Oh, oh, shut up, up you piece of crap. You can't, you can't even do, do anything. Turbo look at you. 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 Look Give me that. It's good to have you back. It's good to be back. Where have you been this whole time? And what is up with that door? It's a long story. There's a lot I gotta fill you guys in on. <laughs> no. What's happening? It's him. Me going missing, the door, the duplicates, it's all because of him. Hello, old chum. <laughs>